Oh my god. Six buck. Oh my god. Cool, job done. When I think about my past self, I see a certain air of superiority about him. And I do think that a lot of that has to do with academia. A lot of my self-worth as a younger teenager was tied up with academia. If a person came up to me and introduced themselves at a dinner party, just any kind of social gathering, and they introduced themselves as an Oxbridge graduate, immediately my perception of them is elevated. It changes the way I interact with them, the way I listen to them, importantly. If some person said that they went to um, a college or some kind of community centre for their education, I'd immediately rank them in my mind as lower, as a, a lower person, that their opinions weren't as valid that they weren't nearly as worth listening to. I think a lot of that just has to do with the kind of the competitive nature of commercial academia. Nowadays you have stuff like academic league tables um, and all modes of comparison when it comes to acad academic achievement that you almost adopt this kind of ranking system in terms of academic achievement and human worth just unconsciously. A Cambridge or Oxford degree can be a relatively good initial marker of character. Because let's face it, if, if a person is going to get a degree from one of those institutions, then chances are they are either passionate about their subject beyond belief, and second of all, are very, very hard working. So you can sort of map out a relatively competent person who's, I guess, got some integrity to them. Due to the fact that I haven't delved into that university world, as maybe I, I could have if I chose a different path, it's given me a bit of insight in terms of how I use it to, to measure myself up against other people. And a part of me really worries that if I didn't pursue what I genuinely wanted, and I instead went to university, and I used the identity of a uh, Edinburgh University student slash graduate as an integral part of my, uh, my being, and if, for example, if I, if I met a person who graduated from Leeds or some other kind of institution, um, I could say, okay, I've got a bit of moral superiority over you because of my position. And a part of me really worries that if I hadn't had this experience, this humbling, the idea that I haven't got that kind of crutch to rely on, I just judge a person by their, by their character rather than make any sort of upfront assumptions. If I hadn't gone down this path, then in middle age, in later life, I may very well still have had this kind of conception of, okay, this person is just not worth my time. And I guess this sort of brings us into the main kind of topic of this, of this as well, um, that suffering is a great leveler. You know, in a world that's so diverse in terms of um, just the different characteristics of people, one thing is unique to all of us and that is the human condition. With regard to flaws, with regard to bad habits, with regard to the areas of my life that I think need to be better. And also trying to reconcile that with not being a tyrant to yourself and ripping yourself to shreds. So far at least, I found it to be a very humbling experience in dealing with my own bad habits, in dealing with my own problems. Everyone's got problems. In facing them and looking them dead in the eye, I now realise that there is nothing significant 
that separates me from anybody else. And I think this experience in bringing myself down to a level where I don't rely on academic achievement to, to shield my ego and I just have the content of my character and my competence to rely on. It's been a very humbling experience. I look at the, uh, you know, the drug addicted beggars on the street before I'd think, Jesus Christ, you know, looking down on them in trying to break my own bad habits, which have been so difficult. I look at a person like that on the street now and I think, that could be me. It brings you back down to earth in a big way. In straightforwardly confronting my humanity, my bad habits, my problems, my flaws, I become more sympathetic to humanity as a whole. You know, because I guess now I see myself in them. I see myself in other people more because I've been willing to allow myself to see me.